Warriors NRL Fanatics, welcome back to the YouTube channel. But uh, before getting into it, guys, uh, if you haven't already done so, make sure you do subscribe to the YouTube channel because, one, it really does help the channel a lot, shows your support for the content and videos that I do, and it's absolutely free as well, and it doesn't cost anything, and uh, look, it means the world as well, and uh, it does help out with the channel as also by growing and moving forward, and um, yeah, look, uh, on the road to that 2K subscriber mark at the moment, the channel's at the 1,000. Uh, 200 mark and we're getting close to 1300 so it really uh, means a lot but um you know also don't forget as well to like the video click the thumbs up on the video and click the bell so you don't miss a notification because that's really important because you'll be notified when I do a video or when I go live on the channel next but uh let's get into the video now and um get all that out of the way but uh the uh, Vodafone Warriors had the awards uh, last uh, Saturday evening at Mount Smart Stadium after the game versus the Gold Coast Titans. And uh, quite a few players got their awards, which were totally deserved. But I'm going to go through them and, uh, yeah, I'll give my thoughts on them briefly. But uh, let's go to the first award. That was the Vodafone People's Choice Award. That went to uh, fullback and departing player in Reese Walsh. And uh, that was voted by the fans. The next award was the Vodafone NRL Rookie of the Year. So that went to Viliami Valea. Look, I thought Viliami Valea had a very good 2022 season. Uh, a couple of games he missed due to injury, which is unfortunate. But when he was back in the team, I thought he had some very solid games. You know, he scored some tries as well. And I thought he was pretty consistent throughout the year. Um, there's another player that I, I'll give an honourable mention to was Edward Cozy. I thought Edward Cozy also had a good season after... You know, a pretty, uh, you know, a, a game which you'd rather forget it's Melbourne early in the season. But he came back strongly as well. But uh, really, Ami Valer, good on him. Well deserved there. Congratulations to him on the Rookie of the Year. And uh, look, I'm sure he will grow in the next couple of years and continue to improve as well. But another player, uh, another award, sorry, was the Clubman of the Year. And that usually goes to one player. But this year, it could not be separated. It went to two players, and it was Bunty Afoa and Ben Murdoch Masilla there. Ben uh, Murdoch Masilla, for me, um, this year we didn't get to see a lot too much of him in first grade, but you know, he and Bunty Afoa have done a lot for the club this year. I think Bunty Afoa's had a pretty good season as well, but uh, well done to those two players. The NRL Players Player of the Year was Tohu Harris. I thought Tohu Harris uh, had another year where he was, you know, raveled with injury, you know, that really affected his start to the season, but when he came back into the team in particular, I thought he had a, a very good a good uh, couple of games to end off the year. But uh, congratulations to Tohu Harris. Um, obviously a popular choice there. That was voted by the players there. And the Simon Mannering medal. So this one went to the player of the year. And it went to Ewan Aiken, the second row, who is leaving us at the end of the season to head to the Dolphins next season. So... Yeah, look, at you and Aiken, I thought he had a very good season, very consistent, played a numerous amount of games, um, and I weren't, wasn't really disappointing um, in his games that he played this year, in, in my opinion. And uh, look, another player I probably thought would, would probably go close to winning it was Wade Egan, and Wade Egan was a finalist as well for the Player of the Year award, but you and Aiken um, is consistent as well. I have three players in my in my uh Player of the Year awards, I probably would have gone with Wade Egan, but Ewan Aiken had a good season as well, so massive congratulations to him, and well done on a very consistent year, actually, and, and he's had some good couple of years for us at the club, and it's sad to see him leave, but, you know, wish him all the best there next season at the Dolphins, but guys, uh, that's just my thoughts on the awards, the players that won each award, and uh, let me know who, what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, on the the fact that uh, you and Aiken won the Simon Mannering Medal for the Player of the Year, do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Would you have someone else win it? Let me know what you think down in the comments below uh, on the awards. And uh, yeah, if you are new to the channel and you are watching these videos, subscribe to the channel, guys. It really does help, and uh, it's so much appreciated. And also, don't forget to like the video as well and uh, share the video around. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.